Hey friends, and welcome back to the Food Shed. Uh, I've had a number of questions lately about my hatching time incubators, so I figured I'd get on here and talk about them. Um, this is a hatching time CT120, and uh, it is, I have two of these that are identical CT120s that I use for, one for a hatcher and one for an incubator. The incubator currently is holding a bunch of eggs in it, but the, uh, the hatcher here, uh, I had to pull out to clean it because it's a little bit dirty from the last hatch, and so uh, I figured it was a good time to make a video about it. So um, I like this very user-friendly, uh, incubator and uh, and works really really well not upset with this this setup at all um, it will hold one two three four levels worth of eggs and uh, I can put hatching baskets in there or I can put egg turners in there and uh, it holds all the same there's a plug here 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 and here for um, push that out there we go like I said it needs cleaned but little plug for uh, for the egg turners there so that uh, they've got their power and then egg turner looks like this turning motor back here egg trays um, you can hold five eggs per tray as you see here or you can hold 13 standard Caternix quail eggs in this style adapter or nine Caternix quail eggs per tray in in this style adapter um, this is for the jumbo Caternix quail uh, I have jumbos, so I use these exclusively. I got these off of Etsy. Uh, these came with the incubator because I ordered them from Hatching Time. Hatching Time does not have an adapter for the jumbos, so I had to go to Etsy to find that. Really happy with that. Uh, I run this exclusively for, for my eggs right now, um, and these just collect dust in a box until I break them out for a video. So um, five eggs in a, in a flat, and then or five eggs in a tray. One, two, three, four, five, six trays. 30 eggs in a flat. One, two, three, four flats, 120 eggs, the CT120. Makes sense. Uh, I can put 216 quail eggs in here with uh, with nine per per tray. Nine times one, two, three, four, five, six is 54. 54 times four is 216. So um, I can fit 216 eggs in this setup uh, if I need to. And um, so I'm really happy with that. And then the way that the egg turner works is that this, uh, this tray here has this little arm goes to this yellow piece, the yellow piece runs to here and uh, on this cam for the motor. The motor plugs in in the corner there and it's that easy. Rotates back and forth. 14 days later, I take them out. Not the chicken eggs, but the quail eggs. I take them out. At that point, I candle them and I move the eggs into a hatching tray or into a hatching basket, which you've probably seen several times in my videos. Um, the hatching basket is nothing more than a two-sided plastic basket um, that I put the eggs in. I do put a piece of shelf liner in there. This one's dirty. Uh, they just came out of hatching and like I said, needs to be cleaned. Um, the, hatch, the shelf liner is there because when the birds first come out of the eggs, they're not super sure-footed, and rather than have them on this so, or on this slippery plastic, I want them on the shelf liner that gives them some traction so that they get good footing underneath them. It helps to reduce a lot of the developmental issues with their legs, uh, and so that goes in there. Um, I do throw that in the clothes washer in between cycles of eggs, and after about four or five uses, I, I throw them out and buy a new one, but... sits in there like that one two three four easy day okay so um about this water tank on top it feeds down to a smaller tank over here this tank has an ultrasonic humidifier in it that humidity that's created comes out of this tube way back here I don't know if you can see it there in front of the fan uh, but I'll give you a better view of it in a minute and uh, the fan draws that in and then pulls the air in from the lower portion of the incubator and pushes it up out and around throughout the entire box to cycle it to maintain a constant and consistent temp and humidity throughout here. Um, to, to control that, you turn this box on, you set your temperature and your humidity levels and let it go and in about 30 minutes it cycles up to temperature and humidity and as long as you keep water in the tank here, it continues to maintain that temperature and humidity. If you don't maintain water in the tank and your humidity drops, there is a very loud alarm that, that sounds and you'll hear it a couple of rooms away. Uh, we've done that once or twice and uh, it lets you know you need to get in there and put some water back into your tank so that you can get your humidity back up. Um, manufacturer does recommend using distilled water in here. 
um, because it causes less scale with the ultrasonic humidifier. But in a pinch, I've used tap water a few times because we ran out of the, the um, distilled water and tap water is readily available at the house. So I use that and uh, no ill effect. I have read a few times if you use tap water often, you will have to clean some scale off of that uh, ultrasonic humidifier. But I haven't run into that yet. So, uh, and again, I don't use it a whole lot, but um, I haven't run into that yet. So, uh, so it startup's really easy. Fill the tank, turn it on back here. There's a switch, set your temperature and humidity, close the door, let it go when it gets up to temperature and humidity. I usually give it an hour to, of soak time just to make sure it's all good. And then I load my eggs into there for the, uh, for the incubator um, on startup. The, the two little windows I'm not a super big fan of. I would like to see a full door, but it doesn't seem to impact the hatch rates. I get about an 85 to 90% hatch rate out of this incubator setup. Um, doesn't seem to in, uh, it affect that negatively. So I'm less concerned with that. Uh, a full door window is more of a nice to have because it's cute to look at the birds when they're hatching in the baskets uh, through a full door rather than trying to peep them through this little porthole thing here. Um, but uh, with all the other pros that this thing has, that's the one con I have. And uh, I'm, I'm not upset with that at all because I get good hatch rates. There's a little basket down here that uh, you can put water in to start with. I don't always do that. In fact, I almost never do that. Um, this thing cycles up quickly enough that I don't feel like that's necessary. I leave it in there just because it's that much less space that the, uh, the, the um, system is trying to function with. All right, pull that out of there. I'm gonna turn this around. So uh, neat features about this. It's, it's very well insulated. I keep this in an unheated garage year round and it, it functions beautifully, keeps the temperature humidity right where I want it to be. Um, it's, a little, it's not super heavy, it's just a little awkward because of its size. So you see the vent here. And then the back door opens up. And I don't know that I've seen another cabinet incubator that the back door opens up on, uh, but I like this feature from a, I can get in here and really clean the fan, uh, clean the airways, clean the back vent up here, um, scrub back here really good and, and clean the tube, right? Uh, it just, it works really well for me and I like it. Um, also, I've had a chick that hatched way too early, like at day 14, and jumped out of his uh, turning tray and was running around back here. Uh, without having to disrupt all the other eggs in the in the turning trays, I was able to open up the back, grab that little guy out of there, close the door, no ill effect to everybody else. Didn't have to pull out a tray to get to reach my arm back there. Excuse me. Um, didn't have to really mess with anything other than just open door, pull him out, put him in a hatching basket, close the door, and let it go. So um, really really like this feature about it. This was probably the thing that set this uh, incubator apart and sold me on it. Um, but yeah. And then here's the water tank for the, uh, the humidifier. So that's it. Um, like I said, I have two of them. The one I run is the incubator. Uh, I run it at 99 and a half degrees and 45% humidity. The, this one I run is the hatcher. I run it at 99 and a half degrees and 60% humidity. Um, works really, really well. I get a really good hatch rate out of it. Uh, I like how user-friendly it is and how simple it is. Um, and I like how I've been running it for a year without any significant issues. So. Uh, if you have any other questions please uh please feel free to uh put them in the comments below otherwise thanks for watching the video and have a great day